Okay, so I got the uh, rear valve cover off, and uh, it's pretty obvious that they're uh, a little bit hard. Let's see if I can do a demonstration. They should tear. So here's the old ones when I hold them. They're like that. They're just slowly drooping down. And here's the new ones. See how flexible they are? New ones. Old one. And you, you know it's bad whenever you can see like metallic shiny uh, particles like you see how it's gold that's bad that means that there's like metal from the engine going out of the engine right there so it's been flowing good enough to actually let the particles of uh, metal by um, and then the other thing is I bet you if I measure the thickness of this which is not very accurate to do it with rubber I don't know if you can see that, but it's 265 thousandths. The new one is 355 thousandths. So it's about a tenth of an inch thicker than the old one. That's just because they're so hard compared to the uh, newer ones. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this together. Uh, Permatex goes on the corners with this kind of gasket. You don't need to put Permatex anywhere else just because that's a waste of Permatex. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that knocked out.
All right, here's a quick look at the uh, valve train on one of these Toyotas. I didn't show the other side. As you can see in the time lapse, I forgot to plug the stupid injectors in. And then this little thing down here, this PCV thing, I don't even want to talk about that. Um, but I basically just put an elbow on it. It's just the same thing as what it was before, but it, it doesn't have the uh, ball valve thing for when your engine gets up to 400 degrees. It's over here somewhere. Yeah, this is supposed to keep your engine from lighting on fire or whatever, but your engine ain't going to light on fire. So, But basically, that hose needs to be there to vent the crankcase um, or else you'll get a bunch of fuel and stuff inside your engine and that's not good. So I went ahead and sealed that up tight and uh, put that on there. Uh, but now I'm going to put this last valve cover seal in and uh, wash it and then I'm done. Is that good? Here's the other one. It's not looking so good. Looks like we've got one cylinder that's burning a lot of something. And the other cylinders are fine. The back ones. But, uh, yeah, I've never seen, it must be like high temperature oil burning or something, maybe synthetic.